Hello everyone and welcome to the 3 by the Sea Designs YouTube channel. My name is Kim and I have a shop with my mom Dreema and my sister Becky. It's an online shop on Etsy where we sell things to knitters and crocheters. Uh, things like project bags, stitch markers, hand dyed yarn, notions, things like that. And this episode is a special preview episode where I'm going to show everything that is coming out in our spring collection on Saturday. So if you've been around for a while, you know that every season, spring, summer, fall, and winter, we come out with a collection, a huge collection. And this, um, so this time, this is our spring collection. It comes out on Saturday, March 16th at noon Eastern time. And we will have brand new project bags, yarn, stitch markers, needle stoppers, scissors, all of that stuff. So this is um, a pretty big collection. So I'm going to go through everything with you. So this isn't a normal podcast episode where I will show where I would normally show things that I'm working on. I do have a couple things that I have to show you that I'm working on, but they have to do with the yarn that we're going to have in the shop. So um, next week we'll have a regular podcast episode but I wanted to do a special preview just for the collection. You guys always look forward to this, every collection, and um, you always say it's very helpful to um, preview everything so you can write down your lists of things that you would like to get. Before I start, I just want to say that um, I have a cold, well, I don't know if it's cold or if it's allergies or it's turned into a cold from allergies. I don't know. But the weather here in Florida has been um, very warm and um, the pollen from the trees has been in full force, full fledged pollen mode around here. Um, everybody's cars have this like haze of yellowy green over them. And um, every time you walk outside, you immediately just get a runny nose. And it's just been not fun for the last week and a half. Becky and I have both not been feeling good. So uh, that's why things are delayed slightly. Um, but that's okay. I just wanted you guys to know that I may have to... Um, that's why I sound kind of funny. And I may have to take frequent sips of water and my hot tea that I'm drinking. I hope you guys settle in and let's get started on some beautiful things that I have to show you. I'm going to start with our Butterfly Garden collection. So in this collection of our spring collection, we have three sort of mini collections, I guess you could call it. Um, we have the Butterfly Garden set. We have the Alice in Wonderland, or we called it Tea in Wonderland set. And then we have the Tulip Festival set. Um, and then we have some sort of spring Easter things that are um, sort of not uh, like, like a collection, but we did decide to add some Eastery spring, like very specific spring things. So I'm going to talk to you about each collection individually. If the yarn that I show has a coordinating project bag with it, I'll show it at that time as well as any coordinating stitch markers or needle stoppers. So that's what, how we'll go through it. We'll start with Butterfly Garden, the Butterfly Garden collection, and then we'll go through the Tea and Wonderland collection, and then we will go through the Tulip Festival collection, um, and then anything else remaining I will show after that. One thing that I wanted to say about um, the updates, because the update day is always kind of crazy uh, and hectic. <laughs> so we update the shop. Everything will go into the shop at noon Eastern time on our Etsy, um, in our Etsy shop. Um, set an alarm, you know, a couple minutes for a couple minutes before that. So you can get logged in. Uh, you can use the app, the Etsy app, or you can use your computer. Uh, make sure that you, at noon, when we put everything live, make sure that you refresh your 
app or the web website um, to make sure that everything comes up because a lot of times it doesn't show up right away and you just have to keep refreshing the page to do that. Um, so unless you hear from us on our Instagram or our Facebook pages that we've delayed the update, everything will go live at noon Eastern time on Saturday. Um, there will be for um, US orders, there will be free shipping of $150 or more. So if you purchase that much, then you'll get free shipping for US orders. What else? Oh, and if you place multiple orders and you need us to combine them, um, we can do that if you e if you message us on Etsy or send us an email and let us know. So after if you've if you've placed two or three orders that on Saturday, and um, you need them all combined, you have to let us know. Otherwise, we will not know when we print out all the orders who's who has combo orders. So I just wanted to remind everyone that if you do want them combined into one package, then you have to let us know that day that you've placed the order so we can pull them out because um like i said it just we can't do that unless we know <laughs> who 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 placed multiple orders okay so let's go ahead and get started enough with all of that i think i covered everything so i'm going to start with our butterfly garden colorway this is actually a colorway that we had last spring and we decided to bring it back it is a beautiful variegated colorway with golds and a uh, sea foam green color. There's some purple in there and some pink. There's some blue as well. Very, very subtle blue colors. And this is a all over, like I said, variegated colorway. I do have a sample um, sock to show you in this colorway. So this is Butterfly Garden. I'm going to put up on the screen here a list of all of the bases that Butterfly Garden is going to be available on. And um, so because this one is available across all of our bases. So um, let's see, Sanibel, Sanibel sock sets. The sock sets come with two minis. I'm going to show you all of the fingering weight bases first. So we have Sanibel, we have Coquina, which is our cashmere base, MCN cashmere blend. We have Amelia, which is our silver Stellina base. And then we have an Amelia sock set as well. So those are our three fingering weights, the Sanibel, the Amelia, and the Coquina. Those are all fingering weight. And then we have our Destin base, which is a DK weight. And we will have it in a DK weight sock set as well. And then the only other base we will have it on is our St. Augustine Surrey base. Look how pretty. This is a lace weight Surrey alpaca and silk blend. It would look so pretty together. That is Butterfly Garden. The coordinating colorways that we have to go with it are lilac and serene. So I'm going to show you those now. This is lilac on our Sanibel base. Lilac will be available on Sanibel, Coquina, Destin, Amelia, as well as St. Augustine. So basically across all of our bases. And it looks really beautiful with Butterfly Garden. Yeah. 
Then the, <clears throat> the other coordinating color that we have is Serene. Serene goes really well with Butterfly Garden. Now Serene, we only made as a sock set and we used Butterfly Garden as the mini. We thought it would be fun to have a tonal sock set. So your main color is a tonal color and your mini is a variegated color. And they look very pretty, all three together. I have some samples to show you for Butterfly Garden. This is on our DK Destin base. This is the Serene Socks pattern that I am uh, releasing as well on the same day on um, the 16th. So the sample for the pattern was in Butterfly Garden for the DK version. And for the fingering weight version, I used the Serene sock set. So the pattern will come with two versions, the fingering weight as well as the DK weight. Cute little bunny. All right, so that is the yarn. We have a coordinating project bag with um, this collection. Let me grab the project bag. I don't have all the prints here with me for, um, I have all of the prints with me. I don't have all of the sizes with me for every single print. So I'm gonna put up on the screen for each bag what we have available um, in zippers as well as drawstrings. So this is Butterfly Garden. This is the coordinating project bag to go with the Butterfly Garden collection. We also had this in the shop last year. It looked a little bit different. We used a different fabric for the channel as well as for the inside. So this is our small size drawstring. This is our medium size drawstring. And this one will also be available on zippers. Again, I will put up on the screen exactly what, what we have available. That's a medium and that is a large. And like I said, I don't have all of the sizes for every um, print with me. Just to give you some detail in there. Such a beautiful print. This one was really popular last year, so we decided to bring it back this year. And there were, were some sizes that we did not have last year that we have now. We have two new needle stoppers for this collection. We have butterflies in yellow and purple. If you don't know what needle stoppers are, they are sometimes called stitch stoppers. They are a silicone, um, little charm <laughs> made out of silicone and they have a hole on either end in between and you can fit them onto your needles and they stay on so they hold your stitches in place while you're not working on your project i think these kind of go with butterfly garden as well because it's flowers one in pink and one in blue so a watering can with flowers in them polka dots so so cute 
we have a new set of butterfly stitch markers. It's a five piece set. Greens, blues, purples, oranges, yellow. Such a beautiful, beautiful set. We had something very similar to these last year and you guys loved them. So when we found these, we were like, oh, these are so gorgeous. We had to bring butterflies back to the shop. Sticking with the garden theme, I have to show you guys these adorable new stitch markers. Look at the little caterpillar. So we have a caterpillar, a grasshopper, a snail, and a ladybug. We will also have this guy back. We had him, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. It may have been the year before last, but I don't remember. But we've had him in the shop before. Is he not the cutest little frog ever and he's holding a flower? He's <laughs> just so adorable. All right, so I think that is about it for the Butterfly Garden Collection. I'm going to put all of this stuff away and get the next set out. To show you before i move on i did want to show you what the extra large drawstring in butterfly garden is going to look like it has this really beautiful fabric coordinating on the bottom as well as the top it doesn't have the drawstrings in yet but i just had to show you guys this because i'm always talking about the extra large drawstring bags and how amazing they are for your larger projects and I just wanted you to see how beautiful this one is. The next thing I have to show you is our Alice in Wonderland collection. It's we're calling it Tea in Wonderland. This colorway was a colorway from last year from our mystery sock sets. Around this time last year we had a mystery sock set in the Alice in Wonderland theme and it was so well loved that we knew we just had to bring it back the following year. So this is on our Sanibel base. Such a fun variegated color. It's got lots of blue as well as some aqua colors in here. More of that aqua color right there. It's got some black speckles, lots of speckles actually. There's some green and black, some beautiful pinks and purples, some bright, pretty neon yellow. Some of that yellow and pink mixed and you get that beautiful orange. It's so fun. <laughs> um, okay, so this is our Sanibel um, single. We will have it in a sock set as well with a black mini. We called it Stark Raven Mad, the mini. Coquina, this is another fingering weight. And then we also have it on our Stellina, our Amelia base, which is a Stellina, silver Stellina. It also has um, nylon in it as well. And we did a sock set with the Stellina as well. Look at that Stellina on the black mini, it's so pretty. So those are our fingering weight. Then we will have it on our Destin DK base. And a Destin sock set. 
Our DK weight um, sock sets come with two minis. So you have enough to do toes, heels, and cuffs if you wanted to make socks. And if you don't want to make socks, you're getting 140 grams, so 100 gram full skein and 220 gram minis. That is a good amount to, to make a project with. Why are you not focusing? Are you? I can't tell. I think you're focusing. So up on the screen should be a list of the bases that they will be available on. Uh, we did not put this one on our St. Augustine Surrey base because of the technique, the way that this colorway is dyed. Um, and since it's so heavily speckled, I didn't think that the Surrey would take the colorway very well. If this video is edited a lot, it's because I had to edit out me coughing or clearing my throat or drinking water. I heard something in the attic. Anyway, I just didn't think this colorway would do very well on the Surrey alpaca um, lace weight. That base is so fluffy that anytime you lay any powder down on it, it just completely blends in. It doesn't give you much speckle or like pinpoint um, speckling like you see here. So I, um, I don't know, I'd be curious to try it. We just didn't add it to that base this time. We may test it out and see in the future how it looks on Surrey. I think it would look pretty. <laughs> I think. I just don't know. We, and we just didn't have time to like really perfect it. So um, that's the only base that is not available on. I forgot to show you the little tiny swatch that I made. I'm planning to make a little bit bigger of a swatch at some point. But I only made a little tiny one because... I started a sock with the TN Wonderland colorway with a sock set. Isn't that so pretty? I've showed this on the regular podcast, on a regular episode. I got one done and I haven't worked on the other one in a while. <laughs> I also forgot, oops, I also forgot to show you a swatch of lilac that my dear friend Laura made for me. So thank you, Laura, for swatching. This is what lilac will look like. It's very, very tonal. I love the variation within it with the light and the dark. It's so pretty. I had to take off my shrug because it was getting so hot in here. <laughs> All right, so to coordinate with Tea in Wonderland, we have, we came up with a really fun sock set that um, is in, inspired by the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. So this sock set is going to have two 50 gram skeins one in this bright bright purple and in this bright pink and then it will also come with two 20 gram minis in this pale pink and almost highlighter looking yellow this is from a neon yellow dye we just dyed the very, very lightest shade you could possibly go with it. So while it looks sort of pastel on screen, it's really not, but it's not like in your face, bright, crazy yellow either. <laughs> so these look really pretty together, all four of them. And of course the inspiration was the stripes of the Cheshire Cat. And then this pale pink is like what his face looks like and his little paws and then the yellow for his eyes. This coordinates really well with 
Tea in Wonderland as well. So you could use these together if you wanted to. You could make um, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady. You could make her scrappy, stripy socks, which is what I would envision with this, with the pink and the purple striping, and then maybe using the lighter pink and the yellow for the heels, toes, and cuffs. Um, this gives you so much variety, though, especially if you paired it with this. Or if you got the sock set, you could even have that black in there as well. How cute is all of that? So Cheshire Cat is only going to be available on our Sanibel sock set, as well as our Destin base. So the DK and the fingering weight. This is the Destin base. This is the Sanibel base. So that's a lot of fun. We're, we were excited to try something new with the 250 grams instead of the 100 grams. So you're still getting the same amount as a regular sock set with the 100 grams and then the two minis. Um, it's just that these are broken up into two different colors. Gives you lots of fun options. Now we have, you guys are gonna be so excited because I don't even think we've shown anything on our social media pages yet, but we have a coordinating project bag for Tea in Wonderland. Are you guys ready? It is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited to show these to you. <laughs> I'm gonna put up on screen the sizes that we have available. And I'm gonna show you, I only have a couple sizes with me. I'm gonna show you the large zipper. Look at this print, you guys. It is so beautiful. Most of our prints that we get are custom print are we have custom made. So we purchase a digital um, artwork from someone and we have it custom printed for us on fabric. So these are truly one of a kind project bags. The zippers come with a black zipper and the inside, look at the inside. It's like a purple and pink and blue polka dot, so whimsy looking. So that's the large zipper. Here's what the drawstrings are going to look like. This is a small size drawstring. It has the black drawstrings and then that same lining inside. Look at the black drawstrings. So, so pretty. I know you guys are gonna go goo goo gaga over this print. <laughs> I, I just can already tell because there are so many fans of Alice in Wonderland out there. And um, so many of you have already messaged us and said like that you're so excited about the Alice in Wonderland yarn. So we were holding on to this secret for a while. <laughs> this bag is just adorable. It goes great with the Cheshire Cat yarn as well as with the Tea in Wonderland yarn. Now, of course, we had to have some matching progress keepers, right? So we have Alice. Let's 
we have this really cute three-piece set that is her dress as well as a card and the white rabbit he's holding a clock these are metal enamel charms really really nice charms too we have a single teapot so so cute we have a set of mushrooms and like pinks and purples red there's some blues these would be perfect on our rings um, to have like a little ring set of mushrooms as well as these little teapots they would they make great progress keepers but these little tiny sizes also make really great um, stitch markers if you put if you choose the ring option so there's different colors of those there's yellow it's hard to show them <laughs> maybe I'll put up a picture here yellow pink green blue purple Those coordinate so, so nicely. And this set can be Spring or Alice. Three little white rabbits. He looks kind of like the rabbit from the, from the story. All right, anything else for Alice in Wonderland collection? I don't think so. So we're really excited about bringing this back to the shop and um, having the coordinating project bag and stitch markers. We will have, hopefully, hopefully, we will have a pair of needle stoppers that are Cheshire Cats, but they're not here yet so I'm hoping that they will get here by Saturday we shall see but whenever they get here we'll add them to the shop we're so excited about this collection another project bag that is coming to the shop is called you so fluffy <laughs> I'm gonna put up a picture of it here and show you the available sizes so this is You So Fluffy, and look how cute. It's little knitted sheep. It's so adorable. So it, this is our small zipper size with the yellow zipper, nice and bright. Look at the inside black and white polka dot how cute is that whoops it's just adorable with all the bright sheep and then this black and white polka dot it just coordinates beautifully it's got the pink handle bright pink so that is you so fluffy um, these are the sizes that it will be available in I wanted to show you the extra large drawstring because not all of our prints are available in the extra large drawstring. But look how gorgeous. Same lining inside. All of our project bags come with a stitch marker. The extra larges come with two little charms. I hope you can see that. Okay. I can't tell. It's just a little sheep. And then this tassel. So that's the extra large drawstring. And then I do have two of the other drawstrings. That's medium and small. I love our drawstring bags. I mean, I love all the bags. I love the zipper bags and the drawstring bags, but I really love the drawstrings. I think if I had to pick one, 
I'd probably pick the drawstrings. And this print is just adorable. It's so springy with all those fun, bright colors. So I need one of these in the extra large. Hint, hint, mom and Becky, I need one of these. <laughs> They're in charge of the bags, so. <laughs> so that is You So Fluffy. Um, we don't have any yarn that coordinates with this bag, but I wanted to show you a couple of notions. So we have these really cute scissors that we are adding to the shop. We already have scissors like this in the shop, but this color is new. I'm going to pull it out and show you. It's so pretty. Pink. It's like a pink ombre into like a gold and it comes with this really really cute pink sheath so that is new and then we're restocking our sheep um, needle stoppers we have more of those to restock and then we have these super cute new sloths. Oh my gosh. How adorable are they? All right. So let's see. What else do we have? Another print we are bringing to the shop is called Kitties in Bloom. This bag is so adorable. I can't even just contain my excitement for this bag, for this beautiful print. So up on the screen, you will see the color or the um, sizes that it will be available. The zippers have a green, a beautiful green color. And look at this print. These kitties are so cute. The colors, because this is on such a dark background, the colors just pop so beautifully. Look at this beautiful floral print inside. Matches perfectly. So this is Kitties in Bloom. And look at the drawstring, how cute. So adorable. Little stitch marker. I hope I'm showing that the right way. No. I think I said all of our bags come with a coordinating stitch marker somewhere on the bag, either as a zipper pull or on this little hanging charm. The black drawstrings, it's just, everything is so adorable on this. So here's the small drawstring. Here's what the medium drawstring looks like. It's exactly the same. Aren't they just so cute? Perfect, like spring colors. <laughs> I love it. This is what I'm saying about, I can't decide between the zipper bags and the drawstring bags because they are just both so adorable how cute would this be to have a set you know if you wanted the medium sized zipper and the small sized drawstring you could do that 
I don't have all the prints to here with me, but you could get the extra large drawstring and the small size zipper if you wanted to have two completely different sizes. I mean, they're a great size. This is the medium. So they're all great sizes for the, for depending on what project you want. So that is Kitties in Bloom. I'm going to show you the last yarn collection, which is our Tulip Festival yarn collection. Um, that one does not have a coordinating project bag, so it's just yarn, and there are some notions that we have that coordinate as well. Tulip Festival came about from this inspiration picture that Becky found online and it has the most beautiful colors. Tulips and spring go together so well hand in hand and these colors were just perfect for having in a colorway so we knew we had to bring this to life. So here is Tulip Festival. This colorway is a variegated colorway that has, I wanna say eight different dye colors in it. Lots of pinks and purples, yellows, greens, even some orange in there, red. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. We purposely left some white as well for variation. We made a swatch as well. This is what the swatch looks like. Oops. For Tulip Festival, how gorgeous is that? All of that color. It'd be so pretty in a project. So, our fingering weight is our Sanibel base, as well as a Sanibel sock set. The sock set comes with this beautiful spring green mini. Our Amelia silver Stellina base. as well as a sock set. You can see that really pretty Stellina. Our Coquina MCN fingering weight base. The colors always show up so vibrant on this base. That beautiful yellow, so gorgeous. Then we have our Destin DK weight base. So we have it on a single as well as a sock set that comes with the two minis. We also made it on our St. Augustine base. The colors blended so beautifully on this base. There's so many different things you could do with this on Surrey. If you wanted to hold it with a um, highly contrasting, like a white or a cream color. This is our white sands colorway. That would look really, really pretty together. You could also hold it with the same base, or I'm sorry, the same colorway, and see where the colors take you there. That would be gorgeous. Uh, we have the Tulip Festival minis set. It comes with six 20 gram minis. 
in these beautiful colors. So you have pink, yellow, red, green, purple, and blue. The minis set will come on our Sanibel base, so fingering weight, our Destin base DK, as well as the Amelia Silver Stellina fingering weight. This would be fun to do some beautiful color work with. You could use the Surrey with it. Do something fun there. Or you could use it with this. Brighten up all of those um, dreary days that I know a lot of you are still having. Spring is almost here. It's so, so close. <laughs> for us, spring, it's been green now for a little while. <laughs> we don't really get a typical dreary winter. So, um, but it is still nice to see all of these bright colors. Now we do have a coordinating tonal to go with Tulip Festival. This is called Bluebird. I wanna hold it up close so you can see. It is tonal, but it has some beautiful speckling in it. Certain dyes give this sort of uh, micro, micro, teeny, tiny speckle effect. And especially with blues, you get that. It's so, so pretty. So this is Sanibel, Amelia, the Stellina. This one, um, my jaw about dropped when I saw this, how it looked when it was dry. The camera just does not do it justice. How beautiful this looks on the Stellina base. Now I will say this colorway is highly, highly limited in quantity. So if you like this one, definitely grab it on Saturday. This is our Destin DK base. And then look what it did on the St. Augustine base. This is what I was saying about how it the blues just sometimes give you these beautiful dark areas and on a still on a surrey base it shows up as these darker sort of streaks and then on a base like um, um sanibel it shows up as those darker speckled areas but this together oh it's like a fluffy cloud in the sky <laughs> it's so so beautiful. I want to make something with this together <laughs> so badly. <laughs> and then I didn't show you it on the cashmere coquina base. So soft. This feels like a cloud <laughs> as soft as this base is. These would be so beautiful in something. And it looks really good with all of these held together something in a project I don't know I don't know what you could do three color shawls you could do some beautiful color work with these you could use the minis set with this this blue is the same blue as the big skein how beautiful would that be the red and the blue together I love this, this combination. I have to show you a project that I'm working on with those. So that is Tulip Festival and Bluebird. They are gorgeous together or by themselves. Uh, I, I can't wait to see what you guys make with these. I am working on, oh, I made a swatch also of Bluebird. pretty and the two of these together I 
I'm working on a new project that I'm not going to go into detail about what the project is, but um, I will talk about it on the next podcast episode. Actually, I'll tell you the name of the pattern in case you're interested in making it also. But my friend Laura told me about this because we were talking about the colorway and how pretty it would look with some mosaic knitting, mosaic color work. So it's not the same, quite same as stranded color work, but it's the Always Be Brave shawl. And I'll put a picture up of it here of what it looks like. So I'm using these two colors. I'm using Bluebird and Tulip Festival. And this is how it looks so far. So it looks like color work, but it's not. It's mosaic color work. So basically some slip stitches and it gives this beautiful effect. I think it just looks like tulip fields. Like I loved the, the effect that the lines had. It remind me of tulip fields. So this gives you an idea of how the color will knit up. Both colors. I have a feeling this is going to be one when you block it and you've actually like stretched out those areas, how beautiful it will actually end up being. I mean, because it looks pretty here like this, but when you stretch it out, you can actually see all of those designs and it looks so pretty. So as you can see, I've just gotten started. And the idea of it, so I don't, you probably can't tell by this picture. But the idea is you get to a certain point and then you switch colors. So the main color, once I'm done with this section and you're halfway through the shawl, the main color will be Tulip Festival and the um, contrast color will be Bluebird. So I think it'll have a really cool effect and it's just, it's so pretty. I love that blue. It's gonna look really pretty on when it's up around your neck. I'm loving it. I love it, love it, love it. So <laughs> that's why I had to show you guys um, a couple of projects because we're they're using our yarn. I forgot to show you this tulip stitch marker. How adorable is that? That will be coming back to the shop. We've had that in the past, as well as this so sweet three-piece set of birds. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Every time we have this set in the shop, it sells out every single time. They are the sweetest little things. So beautiful and lightweight. They're a metal enamel charm. And they're just beautiful. And I love them. <laughs> I'm so happy we brought these back. Our last project bag that I have to show you is specifically for Easter. It is called He is Risen. Now this is only available in medium drawstrings. Here is the inside. It's beautiful. Peachy pink lining. How gorgeous is this bag? I'm in love. Absolutely in love with it. And wait till you see the coordinating progress keepers that we made. It is a rhinestone cross. We we got gold as well as silver to go with it. I'm in love with this bag. It is so beautiful and everything that it represents for Easter just makes my heart so so happy and we called it he is risen
It's the same on both sides. Love it. So beautiful. We also have some very traditional Easter <laughs> um, stitch markers. We have a bunny. Now we, we had this bunny last year, but only the brown one. So we brought this cute little cream one as well. So these will be sold individually, but I just put them on the same card to show you what they look like. And we also had a few of these left from last year, so we are bringing them back. This is a clay charm. It's this adorable little chubby bunny <laughs> holding a carrot, and she has a flower on her head, her little fluffy tail. She's bulky, but she's so lightweight, so she won't, she won't mess up your projects at all. And she's super cute. She's a little chubby thing. We have some really cute needle stoppers, a pink truck with bunny ears, and the carrot in the back says Happy Easter. Yeah, Happy Easter. I thought it maybe said Hoppy Easter, but no, it says Happy Easter. And then look how cute this set is too, the bunny with the Easter basket. We also brought back our little lamb. Now she's very limited in quantity because we only had a few of these left last year and we just brought back what we had. This is already in the shop. Spring chicken. You can get it as a single or you can get it as a ring set. Comes with 12 stitch marker rings and you can get them in small or in large. And then for Easter, the last thing we have is these adorable Easter egg sets. They come in a set of two. Now, this has nothing to do with spring or Easter, but we saw these and could not resist them because you guys know we love Mickey and Minnie. And look, they're kissing, and when you put them together, their hands make a heart. It's so cute. How adorable are those? You guys love Mickey and Minnie stuff, <laughs> just like we do. So anytime we find really cute, good quality charms, we, we like to add them. So that's that. Is that everything I had to show you? I think it might be. Goodness. I hope this episode did not seem out of sorts or discombobulated because my brain certainly feels that way right now because of how, how unwell I have felt the last week. Um, but I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed the preview. And if you have any questions, you can certainly message us on here, leave a comment or message us on Etsy or Instagram. All of the ways you can get a hold of us are down below in the description box. Um, links to our shop, our email address, all of those things. And I will do another video on Friday night. I'm going to do a live probably around 7 30 or 8 o'clock. I'll do a live and I'm going to try to do it on Instagram as well as YouTube. See if I can coordinate that. We'll see. But that way I can answer any questions. I can show things together, pairings. Um, if you have any questions about sizes or colorways or anything like that, we're going to try to blast everything on social media this week in our stories as well as posts. So um, definitely... Um, if you don't follow us there, check out our Instagram and Facebook. Um, 
and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found something that you would love to have from the spring collection. I know I want like one of everything, <laughs> seriously. Um, but I hope that you found something that you love and that you enjoyed it. So thank you guys. I'll see you back next week for a regular scheduled podcast episode and um, happy shopping. So thank you guys. Take care. Bye.